get it. You're putting it level to that cool. Oh my god, I love how Nathan really cool. gets what we're doing like 10 minutes I after know, we right? start. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And we are the Sorry Girls. And today we have a really exciting video for you. This is going to be a mashup of a room makeover mm -hmm. and a bunch of awesome hacks. And today we're here in Daniela, our resident in-house podcast producer, social media, blogger, literally everything um, content producer extraordinaire. <laughs> and she has a very tiny living room. We're in her living room right now. It's quite small. So she asked us to give it a little makeover and also we're going to be showing you some hacks for small spaces because that's what we're dealing with today. This is a small space. It's very small but it has good bones, good structure and we have some really exciting plans for it. So I think we're going to do a little tour around the room as we show you some tips and we'll do some makeovers and touch-ups as we go. Yeah, sounds great. Okay, cool. Let's start with the window wall because you can see it already. So first tip is to take anything that's like dark and heavy and maybe make it a little bit lighter. This is gonna make your whole space feel lighter, brighter and less heavy and therefore bigger. So Timbit's cage was sitting on this dark wood piano bench and it didn't really fit the vibe and it was dark. So we took it to the office and we just sanded on the top lightly because this is where things are going to be touching it, but we didn't even really need to sand the legs because it's not going to be getting a lot of action or touching on the legs. And then we gave it a couple of coats using a paintbrush of the chalk paint. When you're using chalk paint, you should use a paintbrush versus a roller. This is something I didn't know, so hot tip. Once it was dry, we brought it back into the space place Tim back on top and I think this looks much better if it's the whole room a lot better and everything feels a lot brighter and a little bit more modern. Do you have tiny window syndrome? Well, we're here to fix that. If you guys don't know this blind or curtain hack, it is going to change your life because this is a simple way to make your small windows feel way bigger than they actually are. So we're taking this blind and instead of hanging it like right above the window, we're actually hanging it right below the top of the ceiling. We do want a little bit of gap between the ceiling and the top of the blind, but that's where we're going to hang it. And then you just have to make sure that when you pull down your blind that you never let it go up past the window because the illusion is that the window goes up pretty high close to your ceiling. Do you like a uh, push it out more? Yeah, like, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yes, thumbs up. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> The next tip we have for you is often in small spaces, you don't want to put a lot of tables out or places to put things down because you have a small space, but you also need surfaces. So this next hack is going to be a bar that goes behind your couch, which you can place things on and it gives you more room, but it doesn't actually take up a lot of extra room. So we built this giant wooden bar that we're going to attach like a giant shelf behind her couch so she can put cups on it, plants, art, whatever. It just makes the room more interesting and it doesn't take up a lot of space. And as a double feature for this hack here, we also added this amazing desktop outlet. You can get these off Amazon. I will link them below and they are a game changer. If perhaps you have like a plug or an outlet that's really hard to reach, maybe a spot on the couch like it is in this room. This extender makes it so you can easily plug in things like your phone. It really cleans up cords that are on the floor and makes it really easy to access a plug that maybe you can't because your room is too small to get to the plugs. So all you need to do is get yourself a hole saw drill bit, drill a hole in your shelf, and then you pop this plug in and screw it in place. And it's that easy. You just run the cord to where your plug is normally and now you have plugs that are really easy to access, like literally behind your head if you want to plug your phone in. So easy. Pretty good. So all of this behind the couch stuff is looking amazing, but before we put the couch back, we do want to do a couple of other things to this wall. So next up, we're going to be hanging a mirror. Mirrors bounce light, they bounce the reflection of the space, and they just really make the space feel bigger. The bigger the mirror, even the better. Okay, so going back to talking about shelving and how amazing it is, we're gonna put two more wall shelves on this wall. A, because they just need more storage for things, more places to put items because it's a small space. And also, I love putting things up on the wall because it's a way to draw like the eye up that's looking at more things and it just makes the room feel like bigger because there's more things to look at, more spacious. So we're gonna do that. Two little shelves on the wall. Wow. 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 It's beautiful. Okay. 
Next hack is if you have ugly things, you kind of need them. We, we can't get rid of these. Who's the girl right now, Becky? Marie Kondo. Yeah, we can't Marie Kondo these remotes because they do bring us joy because they turn on our TV. But we don't need these out in the open. So this hack is to take a pillow, store-bought, maybe you DIY'd it, but you're going to add a felt pocket on the back to hold your remotes or really anything else in the room that needs to be held by your pillow. To do this, all we did was cut out a rectangle, glued it on, you could sew it if you so choose, but gluing works just fine in this case. Glued down the middle to create two separate sides and then glued around the bottom edges, leaving the top open to add in our remotes. Okay, so the next hack we have is to use things that you already want in the room, but things that double as storage. So we have this coffee table that works great as a coffee table if you need a surface, but also doubles as storage because as you can see, it's essentially a basket with a lid. <laughs> so we can take the lid off and put everything that we need to store in the basket. So this is amazing and really helpful for storing all this stuff, but it brings up another problem. Sometimes storage, as much as it is handy, it's not the cutest. Like for example, a shelf might hold all your books or your candles or whatever, but they're too many, so we want to put them in a basket to look cuter. So same thing here, it holds all of Timbit's foods, which is super handy but it's not the cutest so what we did is sewed ourselves a little liner for the basket so it hides everything in it so how we did this is we grabbed some fabric that's big enough to go around the inside of the table sewed up the one side and then we made sure to add a hem all the way around the top so when we place the liner in and fold it down it looks neat And lastly, we have this genius hack, which is a fold away table. Now, tables take up the most room in a room, but we definitely need them, similar to the coffee table. But this one is table height, and you can use it for eating at or doing work at, but it's gonna fold away. To make this fold away table, we started by cutting out a piece of wood big enough to be the tabletop surface. Then we took a smaller piece of wood and cut this down to the same length of our first piece. Make sure the width of this wood is greater than the width of the bracket that we'll use next. Sand down all of your pieces and then use two simple hinges to attach your pieces of wood together. So here's the shelf bracket we were mentioning earlier. You can get this at Ikea. Trim off the overhang piece since that will be in our way. Take two more of the same hinges and attach them at the top and the bottom of the shorter side of the shelf bracket. We decided to paint our table the same color as the wall for extra blend-in ability when it's not in use. To install the table, we're attaching the tabletop to the wall with two metal L brackets. Make sure the brackets only screw into the skinny part of the table so that the larger part can swing up and down. In the center, underneath the table, screw the bracket to the wall up against the bottom of the table. <gasps> Yay! It feels so sturdy too. And to fold it away, swing it back against the wall so the tabletop can lower. So now that we have our fold up, fold down table with this little rail, which also acts as some more decor space, we also have this floor poop that we picked up which acts as additional seating for this table or anywhere else in the room, a footstool, it could be an extra surface like a coffee table if you need it on the other side of the room. Multi-purpose items are the key here. Okay, this tiny space is already looking so much more functional than it was before. I can't believe how much of a difference these little changes made in this little space. I think that's something I'm learning. It's like the smaller the space, the further your small changes go. Yes, mm -hmm. totally. The only thing it's missing is some final touches. Final you know what? Touchdown. So let's make this little space look even cuter. Cool. Plants. <laughs> Plants attack. <laughs> bring in the woman of the hour. This feels like so much more personal because she's like one of us. I want one her to like us. it. One of us. Are you ready, Daniela? Mm -hmm. Can you come here? With your <laughs> eyes shut. Wait, how do you know I put out my hand? She trusts. Oh, she yeah. trusts because she's one of us. One of us. Okay, okay ready? <laughs> one, two, three. Yeah, with me. <laughs> one, two, three. Oh my god. Do you like? Yeah, the mirror totally opens up the room. Oh my god, look. Yes. Wait. Okay, wait, wait. You have so, so much more cool. table space when you need it. Yeah, that's amazing. It's like the perfect size, too. The walls almost look like 
it almost looks like a cleaner room with like decoration, like it's weird. Well, it's all the light colors. Like I love that yeah. you wanted to do light woods. Like that's so nice. Oh my God, you mm. it. You left our, our I like your up. deer llama thing. <laughs> I didn't do it. Like, <laughs> Guys, it's so cute. Do you see how big your window is now? I know, it looks huge. Like literally. And we can finally block the sun. Yes, <laughs> for months we just had sun streaming into our faces. Oh no, that's yeah. awful. Oh, this is great. Okay, also, the, the charging feature. That is the coolest thing ever and so useful. Yes. Because before we'd all have to be <laughs> on one side. Like, you want to charge Fighting your phone. Fighting to charge your phone. You want to be on that side of the couch. It's like actually the perfect spot for it. So freaking cool. Yeah. Oh, well, thanks for letting us do your space thanks, and guys. teach the peeps about small spaces. It's so good. Oh, yay. And we all hit all of Timbit's stuff in the coffee table. Yes. I really appreciate that. You're welcome. Timbit needs his stuff. <laughs>